So uh, hi everyone, my name is Steve and the, my project is named The Seasons Coast. And my site is located in the southwest of Richmond, close to Stevenson, so that many people are working along this area to the uh, Stevenson Harbor. Uh, this site was named Imperial uh, Lane Park and a residential area surrounds this site. And the Fraser River's water feature comes with a shoreline as well, connected to uh, the park. This site has a relative unique terrain and a large part of uh, it, uh, which is a um, large slope. And a part of um, it is formed by a mud flat and due to a slope because of the wind water comes down and the center of the garden while gathering all the waters. And yeah, and the tree uh, area in this site is very original and, and human have not over uh, designed it yet. Uh, during the emerging stage, I realized that there are various habitat and value elements to protect, such as uh, many birds uh, nesting, dark habitat, moose ground cover, mud flat, and um, ample intertidal zone space. So um, I focused on the depression as my um, uh, healing concept. Um, healing target. And since depression has to separate all of the crowd, and especially in this um, particularly uh, COVID-19 period. And during the research, it was found that integrating into a natural environment has a very good effect on depression patients. So I decided to focus on depression patients and provide them a peaceful, natural environment that segregate from the urban context. And my design concept is a uh, design garden for uh, depression patients that can relieve uh, uh, psychological and uh, mental pressure and touch nature. In the draft stage, most of my idea was uh, modularized the area and added various experience projects. Uh, but this uh, large conflict with my um, design concept, later I turned um, to the canopy work as my design uh, idea to better uh, protect the original ecological environment and provide people with a unique ex experience. And in this sketch, I designed a uh, canopy work that includes all um, the various experience. And this garden is divided into upper and lower parts. The upper part is a path composed of, of wooden structure and allow, uh, allowing patients can walk among the trees and rest areas and places to look out. And the lower part is a lower garden created through planting, allowing patients to smell the flower fragrance and touch various plants. As you can see in this site plan, I still retain uh, the original ex uh, ecological trees. Um, also, I plan to add some tree with the salt tolerant, water tolerance, and color of different seasons to enhance the sensory experience. Also, um, there are two gathering spaces uh, with a large scale gallery old touching experience on the left and right side of the design, which is right here and here. People will enter uh, this part through Bayview Street and the sidewalk on this other side. The, uh, since the entrance will use a yellow fence and some uh, screen to create a transition from the city to a natural environment. Before long, um, they will arrive at the gathering space, which will use a roof-like uh, feeling to help users avoid um, like, uh, um, the rain and, um, uh, wind and rain. And at the same time, the color of each structure will use the yellow as a primary color. Um, yeah, and I also, and um, I add a, oh, sorry about that. So um, as people keep walking, there will be a very large space of uh, observation that deck and keep walking uh, into the um, center of the garden. There will be a glass experience or a glass walking and since uh, the path here is not very high, so uh, people don't have to be afraid. And it's just like to uh, have a better view or a plan view of the plan to view, uh, yeah. And also there will be a very long uh, walk path extend into the pond, which is called the heart of pond. But yeah, um, people can actually walk back, like take a look of the whole, uh, structure of the garden. 
And you may be wondering why there are so many yellow elements. Uh, since in the research and investigation, yellow was a, a healing a very effective in healing on depression patients and um, and very various of um, impression of a depression patient for a different stage. And therefore, most of the plants select a yellow based um, based on plants in the flower garden and use red for um, embellishments and purple contrast. And the material for the um, path, I will use um, wood and um, as mean material and the yellow uh, metal structure as it um, of as a framework. Yeah. For a section line, um, I decided to cut, uh, cut horizontally and uh, vertically to uh, provide you a better view of the uh, whole garden. Okay, so the first uh, perspective, I mean, uh, section, sorry. Um, yeah, as you can see, uh, this is the uh, lower garden, which is uh, the nest. Um, the healing garden uh, contains various uh, um, yellow kind of uh, plants, which is uh, uh, most of these, <coughs> it's not, sorry, <coughs> so tolerant, but uh, since they're, the soil here is built up by humans, so um, you don't have to worry about that. <coughs> Sorry Steve, about that. Steve, you have one minute left. Okay, I'll go through this quickly. And for the um, analysis section, I um, use most of the, uh, the Douglas fir um, in this side. And um, and also some service berry as a uh, white um, embellishments for it. Um, sorry, <coughs> sorry. Uh, oh God. Oh. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Steve, do you want to just move to your final screen, which is, should be your poster? Okay, sure. I'll yeah, then we can see the whole project and we can let the guests begin to comment. I think they'll be able to read. Right, sorry about that. It's not, not okay. Yeah. And just a very quick perspective that uh, people are on the observation dot. Yeah, and here we go. 